This guy should have bought a ZR1. Alright, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time stopping in, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe. I'm starting to give away some free stuff. I just gave away uh, some Jeep Grand Cherokee crossbars because they were sent to me by a company to give away. And uh, just want to let you know VanVorceGarage.com is up and running. If you want to get pictures of the Demon, the Charger, the Trackhawk, um, even my truck, my Sneaky Cat, any of the cars we have or have on the channel, we're going to post pictures up there um, that you can print or that we'll print and ship to you in poster size. They're really high quality. And if you guys like my pictures that I post on Instagram, a lot of them will be up there. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go do that. It's at VanV39. And uh, make sure you guys check out VanVorceGarage.com. Let's get started on the video. All right, so this has been on my mind lately ever since Kevin got the Demon and the ZR1 came out. Um, now these are two totally different cars, yet everyone wants to compare the two. The ZR1 MSRP, 121,755 horsepower. It's a track car, it comes with a wing, it comes with um, splitters in the front, it is set up to be a track car. Um, they want to break the 7 minute mark on the Nürburgring. Demon MSRP, 89,000. 840 horsepower with the race PCM 808 without on pump gas It's a drag car. It's set up to drag claimed 965 by Dodge Is that ever gonna happen to be determined? <laughs> but there have been owners um, Running as fast as 98 mostly everyone has ran around 99 to the 10 1 mark um, not using the trans brakes. So the people that are running that in the Demon, they actually aren't using the Demon to its full capabilities because when Dodge set this up, there is a lot of things you have to get right. Um, you gotta brake 500 miles, you gotta get your crate so you can put the skinnies on, um, so you can put the race PCM in, you can do race gas, you gotta use the, the trans brake, you gotta use drag mode. So there's a lot to take into consideration when running these Demons to their full potential. Um, but there has been a lot of people now, finally they're getting used to the car, they're running around 9.9s, um, really good driver ran a 9.8, but so far as fast as 9.9. Now, you can't hold that against them and say the car's not going to go faster because these are just your average daily customers who are just getting used to the car and like I said, the trans brake is kind of a hard thing to figure out. Um, it's a little tricky the way that it's used. I don't personally know how it's used. Um, but we're going to play with it here once Kevin gets 500 miles on his. Um, I think SRT Mush kind of has it figured out, but he's also modded his Demon, so it's kind of hard to compare his times to everyone else's. Uh, but he did run about four passes in the nines already. Anyways, the ZR1, everyone is freaking out because someone just ran a 10-12 in an auto 8-speed um, at about 135 miles per hour at a 450 DA, which is really awesome. I mean, that's a low DA for sure. And uh, that's with drag radials, so that is a ZR1 on drag radials. And I think that's really cool, that's awesome. Now, you still can't compare the two though because that's a track car, this is a drag car. Two totally, completely different cars. If you want to compare a Dodge in that category, you need to take the Viper ACR Extreme and put that against the ZR1. And uh, that would be more of a fair comparison. You know, go run them at the track, go run them at the drag, see how they daily compare to each other. Those would be a very good comparison. But the Demon, I think, is a totally different vehicle. Um, yet Chevy boys, Sh Chevy fanboys, and even us Dodge fanboys, everyone wants to compare the two and say which one's better than the other. But I think they're totally different. Now, let's start off with the price. So 121,000 MSRP. Um, on the ZR1, these are 89,000. Now, I know people are going to comment and say, "Oh, I've seen the Demon for sale for 120 to 140." Well, the MSRP is still 89,000. Now, that's people marking them up, trying to make money off them. But Kevin, my brother, he did buy his for MSRP, and we do know of a white one that's for sale for MSRP in it's either Dallas or Houston. So they are available at MSRP. Um, the ZR1s, I don't know for sure if people are able to get them at the MSRP or if there's a markup. Um, I'm sure there's a small markup, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. And people are specking them out, getting them up to like 140 and 150. So they're definitely, 
As far as MSRP is concerned, you definitely need to say that they're in a different price bracket because, well, they are. When you start getting in that 140 range, you're, you know, you're in the range of McLaren 570s, you're in the Viper ACR Extreme range, um, which I think is a way more fair comparison. Anyways, so as far as price is concerned, I think the Demon wins that battle. Now, as far as horsepower is concerned, um, you know, the ZR1 is 755 to the crank and the Demon makes 808 to the crank if you want to compare them pump gas versus pump gas. Now the Demon is capable of 840 but I don't think you can compare that because that's on race gas with a race PCM. That's not, it is from the factory like that but the ZR1 doesn't have that option so if you want to compare them comparatively it would be the 808 pump gas versus the 755 pump gas so the Demon still wins in that aspect as well. Now as far as weight's concerned Obviously, the Chevy's going to win that. This is a big boat. <laughs> we, we've had, Kevin has a Charger Hellcat. I have a Challenger Hellcat. And these are big ass cars. They're heavy. They're big. They're not meant to corner. Um, yeah, sure, you could corner them, but you'll get passed up by Miatos. So, don't think that's a good idea. Um, they're, and they're not set up for that. So, we're not mad about that. We like to drag race. Um, we like to do runs in Mexico, and that's what these cars are good for. They're good for drag racing. They're not meant for the track. If we wanted a track car, we would buy Vipers. Um, to be determined, actually, maybe getting one. But anyways, if we wanted a track car, that's that would be our car of choice as a Viper. If we were, you know, if we really liked Corvettes that much, I would get a Corvette ZR1 because that's what it's set up for. But you know, or something like a ZL1 1LE. But we really like Dodge's cars. And that's why we chose the Hellcats, and Kevin has a Hellcat and a Demon, and I have a Hellcat. So as far as weight's concerned and cornering, things like that, obviously the Corvette wins, but the Demon was not built for that. So take that, take that into account. Um, as far as interior goes, I think they're both, um, it depends on what interior styling you like. Dodge is really up to date. It's got everything you need in there. It's got heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. It's got um, pretty much everything you need for it to be a daily driver. I don't think the Demon has a heat steering wheel though. Someone correct me. Kevin, comment below. I don't remember. I don't think it does. But either way, um, heated cold seats, all that good stuff is available in the Demon um, You know, for it to be a daily driver. And they're really comfortable. Obviously because they weigh so much, um, part of that is to do with how big they are on the inside and how big the car is overall But they are very comfortable now these seats are bolstered a little bit more than the Hellcat so they definitely hug you a little more um, And the only difference between the Demon and the Hellcat is the Alcantara steering wheel and the gauge cluster um, But other than that it's pretty much a Hellcat interior bolstered seats Demon logo very slight very slight minor changes, but these things are comfortable as shit they <laughs> I've driven mine to Dallas, I've driven mine to Lubbock plenty of times, which is two hours away, and it's it's like driving a really nice luxury car um, with the ability to get on it and haul ass everywhere. Um, and Kevin, you know, I drove his Demon the other day, and uh, it was just like driving my Hellcat when it was stock, and you just, you don't even know that it's a car that has that much horsepower, and then you floor it and you're spinning till 60 miles an hour, yeah. I spun down 60 miles an hour on these Nitto drag radials. <laughs> so, the Corvette, now I haven't sat in the ZR1, but I have sat in the new Z06 um, C7. And I actually sat in Joseph's, our buddy. He has the competition seat, so it pushes a little further back. And so it's got a little bit more room. It's got the red leather, because it's got the Z07 package. And that thing was definitely a lot more roomy, but the ceiling height, the roof height, feels really short. And it kind of, it makes you feel a little cramped, especially when you're as tall as we are. Now, I definitely fit better than in a normal Corvette. Um, a normal vet felt super cramped in there. But uh, finally sat in Joseph's, and that one definitely has a lot more room. And I don't know how the ZR1s feel, but I'm sure they're a little bit similar to that. Um, I kind of felt like I was in a Viper. If you've ever sat in a Viper, you feel it really cramped. You feel like you're in a race car. The thing rides like a race car. Um, but I can't say for sure on the ZR1 because I haven't rode in one yet, but I'd assume it's a little bit similar to the new Z06. So, you know, I think the Demon is, I think personally, I had, like I said, I haven't rode in a ZR1, but I've rode in a vet. 
I think the demon is still a better daily driver. You don't know what it is when you're drive when you feel like when you're driving it and you feel it you don't feel like you're driving this car that has over 800 horsepower and can run nines in the quarter mile um you don't feel that way which is really nice but when you get on it or if you take it to the drag strip it's a drag car the thing's fast as shit um it's still really heavy but that comes with it being able to ride really well um you've got nice sound quality you've got really nice interior so you have these really nice amenities and uh, you've got a drag car for the weekend now for the VET, I think um, from what I've read and what I know, it's a little bit louder inside. It rides a little bit more like a track car. Um, you feel like you're in a track car, and uh, that's what kind. Of, that's kind of what you get with the car being that much lighter than these, and uh, you know, with the suspension that's tuned for the track. Whereas, you know, I mean, and it does have the different modes, but the Demon and the Hellcats, you really notice a difference when you change the suspension modes. And like I said. I'll be able to do a full review when I ride in a ZR1, but I think the Demon takes the cake on being a daily driver in a race car on the weekends. But back to the original point, everyone needs to stop comparing them. Everyone wants to say the ZR1's faster, everyone wants to say the Demon's faster. So even us Dodge fanboys, if you will, we need to stop comparing these to the ZR1 because they're not. What you know, we can't go on a Nurburgring, we'd flip, twist, roll over and die on the Nürburgring if we took the Demon out there. And the ZR1 can't keep up on the quarter mile strip, it would see taillights all day of the Demon. So, that's just what it is. But I still think it's really cool that the ZR1 was able to run a low 10s from the factory with drag radios. I think that's really cool. Um, it just goes to show you how far technology's come and uh, just how fast these new cars are. Uh, do I think someone would break a 9? Probably, in perfect conditions. But I also think someone could run a 9.7 in this in perfect conditions. The 9.65, it's going to be a stretch. Is it possible? Yeah. In freaking moon boost conditions. So who, who knows? I mean, who really knows? People are just getting the demons. People are just getting the ZR1. So it's hard to really tell exactly what these things are capable of. And, you know, you've got <clears throat> these aren't professional drivers taking delivery of these. These are normal customers running 9.9 and 9.8. So it'll be really cool to see what people can actually do with these. Um, it'll be really cool to see if someone can actually run the 9.65. I don't think so personally. I think 9.7s once everyone gets them figured out, but um, they're a good platform. It's like the ZR1. The fact that it's running a 10.12 at 135 I means it's a very good platform. You're talking about bolt-ons and it's a low, a mid Excuse me, it's a mid to low nine second car. Same thing with the Demon. You're talking about bolt-ons, you're talking about a very low nine, maybe an eight second car on E85. So, they're very capable cars. I think they're both really cool. Um, the Demon gets my pick just because that's what I want. I want a drag car, I don't want a track car. If I wanted a track car, like I said, I'd get a Viper. But, two different platforms. So I want everyone to comment below which you would pick. Would you take the Demon or would you take the ZR1 and why? And if you care more about track and if you care more about drag. So you guys let me know your opinions below. Always make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanV39. Check out VanVorsGarage.com and we'll see you guys on the next one.